esteemed colleagues and guests. We begin the meeting of the Dissertation Council for the defense of the dissertation of Tashan Ahmad Ramadan Muhammad for the degree of candidate of geological and mineralogical sciences major 250010 geophysics geophysical methods of prospecting for minerals the topic of the work is identification of promising oil and gas bearing objects based on the petroleum system Rodolin in the central eastern part of the Gulf of Suez, Egypt. Let's consider the meeting open. By order of St. Petersburg State University, I, Biskirov Vasiliev Alexey Lazarich, Doctor of Geological and Mineralogical Sciences, Professor of the Department of Geophysics in Petersburg State University, is the Chairman of the Dissertation Council. The same uh, university order approved the members of the Dissertation Council. Let me introduce them. Leichenkov, German Leonidovich, the Doctor of Geological and Mineralogical Sciences, Professor of the Department of Geophysics of Institution of uh, Earth Science, so St. Petersburg State University. In the remote mode are the following people. Turyan, Vladimir Nikolaevich, Doctor of Physical and Mathematical Sciences, Professor of the Department of Physics of the Earth of St. Petersburg State University. Do you see and hear us? Arafa Sultan Awud Sultan. PhD, yes. National yes. Research Institute of Astronomy and Geophysics, Egypt. Yes. Can you hear yes. us? Yes. Yes. Ibrahim Bassam Sayed Nabavi, PhD. National Research Center, Egypt. Can you hear us? Yes, you're welcome. Yes, I can hear you. The degree seeker is also present with us, Tarshan Ahmed Ramadan Muhammad. Also, the scientific supervisor of the applicant, Shemansky Sergei Vladimirovich is also present at the meeting. Candidate of Geological and Neurological Sciences, Associate Professor of the Department of Geophysics of St. Petersburg State University. Absent for valid reasons are the following people Kashsan Boris Markovich, Doctor of Physical and Mathematical Sciences, Professor, Head of Laboratory uh, of Dynamics of Elastic Media. Antoniska Nadezhda Vladimirovna, Doctor of Geological and Mineralogical Sciences, the Head of the Department of Petroleum Geolo Geology of Geological Exploration. In order to improve the quality of connection, dear colleagues who are in remote mode, I kindly ask you to turn off your microphones, but please do not forget to turn them on when you are given the floor. I would also like to say that audio and visual broadcast is being conducted and there is live broadcast on the university website. Simultaneous information from Russian into English and vice versa is being carried out. On live broadcast of the meeting of the Dissertation Council, the email address is posted at which throughout the meeting all the listeners might express their opinion and send their questions to the applicant online. The questions related to the dissertation and the current uh, scientific discussion of the presentation. These questions will be forwarded to me by the technical uh, service and I will voice them. 
the questions are to could be related to the dissertation of the applicant and to the content of its dissertation. Name, surname, the title and the workplace should be stated. Issues not related to scientific discussion will not be voiced. In accordance with the procedure for awarding academic degree of candidate of scientists at St. Petersburg State University, academic degree of a doctor of sciences, according to the local regulations of St. Petersburg State University, the meeting of the dissertational council is considered competent if not less than two thirds of the approved uh, members take part in the dissertation council, not less than four people. Our dissertation council consists of seven people. Five people are present with three in remote interactive mode. Audio visual contact is provided with all the members of the dissertation council and with the applicant. Thus, there is a quorum. I'm going to establish the following rule of the procedure of the today's meeting of the Distation Council with a duration of about two hours. The brief report of the chairman on the documents submitted by the applicant and their compliance with the requirements answers two possible questions five minutes. Brief presentation of the applicant for a scientific degree, stating the major provisions of the research, about 15 minutes. Questions to the applicant, strictly according to the presentation, no more than two minutes per question. Answers of the applicant, no more than five minutes. Speeches of all the members of dissertation committee, in a row with their assessment of the dissertation research and the speech of the applicant with the summary and suggestions to the applicant. About 10 minutes. The speech by the chairman with the assessment of the dissertation research. Approximately 10 minutes. Answers of the applicant concerning the comments and suggestions. No more than 20 minutes. Open discussion. Speeches at the request of those present at the defense. No more than two minutes per speaker. And all those willing to ask questions should register in the registration form and before the speech to give a uh, full name, surname, title and workplace. Submission of questions addressed to the submitted in order of broadcast scientific discussion. The answers of the applicant no more than two minutes. The speech of the scientific supervisor no more than three minutes. The discussion by the members of the dissertation council before the open vote of the result of defense while the broadcast sound is muted about five minutes. Open roll call. Counting of vote by the chairman of the dissertation council with stating the result in the minuses of the meeting. Taking decision and awarding or non-awarding the academic degree. And the final remarks of the applicant, not more than two minutes. Dear colleagues, are there any questions or objections to the rules of the procedure? If none, then I will proceed with implementing the rules of the procedure. First of all, I ask you to turn off the sound of your mobile phones. Thank you for your understanding. So we start the meeting. Mm -hmm. 
the dissertation of Tarshan Ahmed Ramadan Muhammad for the degree of candidate of geological and mineralogical sciences the team of the work uh, the uh, major of the work is 25 of 010 geophysics geophysical methods of Uh, search for minerals on the topic identification of promising oil and gas bearing objects based on the petroleum system modeling the central eastern part of the Gulf of Suez is accepted for defense uh, according to the order of for the academic secretary of the 16th of June 2020 Tashan Ahmed Ramadan Mohammed made the dissertational research work on the base of the St. Petersburg State University. The scientific supervisor is the candidate of geological and neurological sciences, associate professors of professor of Department of Geophysics St. Petersburg State University, Shemansky Sergei Vladimirovich. The number of publications of the applicant where the main scientific results of the dissertations are presented are five publications peer-reviewed scientific publications uh, according to the Ministry of uh, Education and Science Russian Federation 3 and in the publications indexed uh, in the databases of Web of Science at Scopus 2. The applicant submitted to the academic secretary the complete package of the documents for acceptance for consideration for defense of the dissertation. All documents correspond to the clause 12 from section 3 of the procedure. All the documents provided by the applicant are stored in the attestation file. Copies are obtained by the member of the department for provision of dissertation council. Uh, he is now present at the meeting. Before giving floor to the applicant, esteemed members of the dissertation committee, do you have any general questions to the applicant? Is there the necessity to announce and review the whole list of the submitted documents by the applicant? Questions, please. No questions. Then I give the floor to the applicant for a brief presentation. 15 minutes. You have 15 minutes. Thank you. Chairman and the members of the dissertation council, uh, with your permission, let me present my report on the dissertation work uh, for the degree of candidate of geological and the mineralogical sciences. Uh, the theme of my work is identification of promising oil and the gas bearing objects based on the petroleum system modeling in the central eastern part of the Gulf of Suez, Egypt. The relevance of the research topic is that the Gulf of Suez Basin is one of the best examples of a continental rift. Despite the significant amount of data about the structural and the lithological components of individual parts of the Gulf of Suez, there is no comprehensive work has been carried out to reassess this oil and the gas region. So this research work considers this neglected issue by integrating a detailed structural and stratigraphic study of a large part of the eastern part of the Gulf of Suez Rift. The scientific novelty lies in the fact that within the framework of this study, a 3D petroleum system model of the study area was created for the first time. The model was calibrated according to the discovered oil and the gas fields and the recommendations were presented for further geological studies. The main purpose of the study is to predict hydrocarbon accumulation zones in the study area using several geophysical data through constructing a petroleum system model as well as comparing the proven and undiscovered hydrocarbon accumulations. The practical value of the research is that results obtained in the thesis can be used by the Egyptian Ministry of Petroleum to re-evaluate this area and can be also provided to the companies that have the right to explore for oil and the gas in the study area. Main provisions of the thesis for defense. The first provision, based on the processing and interpretation of airport magnetic data, the map of the basement layer was constructed, which formed as the base of the 3D structural model of the sedimentary basin of the study area. The second provision, 
based on the author's collection, generalization of geological and geophysical data, and interpretation of seismic data in conjunction with well data, a 3D petroleum system model was constructed. The third provision, the analysis of the results of 3D petroleum system modeling was conducted. The reliability of the model is confirmed by comparing the discovered hydrocarbon accumulation zones and also prediction of promising oil and the gas accumulation zones was given. Provision number one. The study area lies in the eastern margin of the Gulf of Suez between latitude 28 and 29 degrees to north and longitude 32 and 33 uh, degrees to east as shown in figure one. The Department of Airborne Geophysics of the Nuclear Material Authority of Egypt conducted a high resolution airport magnetic survey covering 2,745 square kilometers over the eastern shoulder of the Gulf of Suez. And in figure two, uh, this is the Beechcraft C90 Beacon that used during the survey. Data were acquired along the primary lines spaced at 1,000 meters and the control lines spaced at 10,000 meters as shown in figure three. The magnetic data were calibrated and processed to remove the magnetic field components which are not of geological significance according to these steps. Diurnal correction, lag correction, heading correction, international geomagnetic reference field, data leveling and the micro leveling. And this is the total magnetic intensity field map obtained after applying the processing steps in figure four. And this map is converted to the RTB map as shown in figure five. The energy power spectrum is performed in order to separate the regional anomalies from the residual ones. It could be divisible into three segments, regional, residual, and the noise segments. The regional and the residual magnetic components map are shown in figure seven and eight and the three advanced techniques were applied to analyze the magnetic data and delineate basement configuration. These methods are analytical signal, source parameter imaging, and 3D Euler deconvolution. The two resultant maps of the analytical signal and, and the source parameter imaging show that the two maps have very similar results. In the 3D Euler deconvolution, Euler solution were applied on RTB grid by structural indices 0, 1, uh, two and the three to select the best solution as shown in figure nine. And the structure index zero gives a better solution than the structure indices one, two, and the three. 2D inverted susceptibility layer, the IRSI model, was applied along a four profile within the study area. Profiles A, P, and C extend more than 42 kilometers in the northeast, southwest direction. And the profile D extends more than 68 kilometers in the northwest southeast direction. Wells of known depths are used to control depths to the basement. Depths in these wells showed excellent compatibility between real and the calculated depths. And the good fit between observed and the calculated magnetic curves was observed with root mean square error less than 3.5%. Using GMSS 3D inversion code, the presumed sedimentary basement magnetic susceptibility contrast for several inversion trials was gradually set between 0.035 and 0.087 SI units during the inversion run. The effective susceptibility contrast was found close to susceptibility contrast of 0.0628, and these are the observed and the calculated maps as shown in figure 15. Eight wells of known depth to basement are used to manage the inverse process. Table one shows the calculated uh, and actual depths at the available wells within the study area. And the figure 16 shows the inverted depths to the basement surface from the 3D magnetic modeling of, of the study area. Provision number two. Applying basin and the petroleum system modeling requires two main steps. The first step is building the model, and the second step is the forward modeling process. In order to build the 3D-based structure model, 16 seismic sections were obtained covering the northern, central, and the southern parts of the study area, in addition to, uh, uh, to a single geologic cross-section for the southeastern part of the area. In figure 18, this is the location maps of wells and seismic sections used in the model building of the study area. These are the seismic sections that we use in building the model. And one geologic uh, cross-section was used in building the model as shown in figure uh, 23. And in figure 24, this is a 3D view using a petrol software illustrating the location of the wells and the seismic lines used in the model construction. 
and then each horizon on each seismic section was digitized accurately using a BTRAIL software to be uh, used in creating a, a depth structure map for the top of each horizon as shown in figure 25. Depths to each formation was gathered from different wells in the study area from different published sources as shown in table two and the table three. Nine depth structure maps were generated for the main horizons using BTRAIL software as shown in figure 26, 27, and the 28A. And in figure 28B, this is the SRTM digital elevation model of the study area. Figure 29 shows the skeleton of the model consists of the upper, middle, and the base skeleton grids. And finally, a model consisting of 29 layers, including the topography and the basement layer, was created using BTRAIL software as shown in figure 30. The petroleum system event chart of the study area was created, illustrating the source, reservoir, and the seal rocks with uh, geological time, which indicates a possibility of trap forming. The next step in building the petroleum system model is to determine lithology, the positional environment, and the age determination. This is the chronostratigraphic conceptual model that we use in building the model in better mode software. In this chart, we determine the lithology of each layer, petroleum system element, the positional age, total organic carbon, hydrogen index, and the kinetics for each source rock. Two main boundary conditions are defined in basin modeling, heat flow and the sediment water interface temperature. The data about temperature gradient and the thermal conductivity are collected for 48 wells along the Gulf of Suez and the eastern shoulder of the Gulf as shown in Table 5. And the generated heat flow map of the study area is shown in figure 32. And the sediment water interface temperature was defined using the automatic function in better mode. And the hemisphere was defined as North Africa and latitude as 28 degrees as shown in figure 33. Provision number three. After the boundary conditions, ages, and all properties of all layers have been defined, the simulation run forward. The 3D depth-based structure model and the layers of the study area are illustrated in figure 34. And in figure 35 shows the overview uh, of timing and the total volumes of the generated, expelled, and the accumulated hydrocarbons over time for the entire digital model. The present day transformation ratios are simulated for each source rock within the study area, and the source rocks of the Nubia formation have the greatest value in the study area. Three 2D cross sections with some overlies are extracted from the 3D model. In the three cross sections, the values of the temperature increase with increasing depths. The transformation ratios in the majority of the source rocks along the three cross sections have high values, and the maturity is illustrated according to Sweeney and Burnham 1990, showing the hydrocarbon generation along each cross section. The resulting accumulation and the bus along which hydrocarbon has migrated are illustrated in 3D view using a better mode software. Oil mm -hmm. accumulations are modeled in green and the gas in red. <clears throat> And then this is the proven and undiscovered model, the uh, oil and the gas accumulations uh, map of the Nubia B reservoir uh, in figure 43A. And in the contoured oil and the gas field uh, are located on the modeled accumulations map of the study area uh, in figure 43B. The modeled accumulations in the Nubia B reservoir, which contains 11 modeled accumulations, shows that the total mass of oil and the total volume of gas accumulations are equal to 23.6 million barrels and 31,815.9 million cubic meters, respectively, as shown in Table 6. Figure 44 shows the modeled accumulations of the Nubia AB3 reservoir, which contains 13 modeled accumulations, as shown in Table 7. This is the map of the accumulations of the Nubia AB2 reservoir, which includes 15 modeled oil and gas accumulations, as shown in Table 8. And in figure 46, this is the map of the modeled accumulations of the Nubia AB1 reservoir, which has 13 modeled accumulations, as shown in Table 9. Secondly, the resulting accumulations in the same rift reservoirs include three reservoirs. The first one is the Nohr reservoir, which contains steam modeled oil and gas accumulation. And the second reservoir is the Rodis reservoir, which comprises four modeled oil and gas accumulations. And finally, uh, figure 40, 49 shows the modeled accumulations of Palaim reservoir. These reservoirs contain 14 modeled oil and gas accumulations of total mass of oil equals 454.98 million barrels and the total volume of gas accumulation equal to 
0.97 million cubic meters as shown in table 12. The main results and the recommendations. Based on this study, it's possible to propose the following main results and the recommendations. The result of the depth to the basement in the study area based on the methods of the analytical signal and the source parameter imaging showed that the depth ranges from 600 to more than 5,000 meters. In the Euler deconvolution technique, the structure index zero gives a better solution than structure in diseases one, two, and three. The result of GMCS 3D inversion code showed that the depth to the basement ranges from 500 to more than 4,600 meters. The results of the Petra mode software showed that there are undiscovered model accumulation generated within the study area. These model accumulations of oil and the gas in the reservoirs show that the total mass of oil and the total volume of gas accumulations are equal to these values in Table 13. In the southeastern part of the area, no activity was done. And according to the results of Petra mode simulation, there is probability of existence of hydrocarbon in different reservoirs. Extending in the drilling wells to the east and the west of Balaim land field, we expect larger accumulations than those currently discovered. And finally, the locations of the undiscovered accumulations in these reservoirs need more detailed 2D and 3D seismic prospecting to ensure the presence of hydrocarbon in these locations. On the topic of the dissertation, 11 works were published, including five articles. All articles have been published in scientific journals, recommended by the Higher Attestation Commission for publishing materials of candidate and doctoral thesis, and indexed in Web of Science and the Scopus database. Thank you for your attention. Questions, please. Вопросы. Микро. Could you please say, in the area of your study, were seismic data conducted apart from the ones that you've shown? we used while building the 3D petroleum system model. 16 seismic sections in addition to one geologic cross-section. We used while building the 3D uh, petroleum system model. Uh, these are the seismic sections that we used. These are questions? Yeah. Uh, and one more question. For the correlation and for the control of your calculations, the drilling data. Did you use seismic data? While applying the practical uh, part of this work, uh, we were planning to use the seismic uh, sections as a constraint while building the 3D basement layer. But unfortunately, after collecting the uh, available seismic sections in the area, as you can see, as I have showed in the presentation, the basement layer is not completely uh, big in the majority of the seismic sections. Even in uh, some seismic sections, it's, it's not found. <laughs> Uh, that's why we just use the well data to, as a constraint while building the 3D basement map uh, of the study area. That's the question. Thank you. Any more questions, please? No questions. External reviews? None. Then we move on to the speeches of the members of the Dissertation Council. And all the uh, reviews were published at the website of the university. So I would like uh, to propose to read or to say the main uh, ideas, questions, or comments for uh, for the applicant. No objections. So we move to the voicing of the reviews of the members of the council, and the floor is given to Leichenkov German Lenidovich.
First of all, I would like to say about the presentation. The presentation was clear and uh, the presenter uh, spoke even less than 15 minutes. But nevertheless, I would like to point out that it would be better if you were not reading the presentation, but you were uh, speaking. I understand that English is not your mother tongue. That's why you used the text. And it is understandable in a way. As for your work, the work definitely has important practical value and scientific value. And I have several comments. The first comment is that you do not have uh, clearly formulated the first provision where you talk about the map construction. Well, in my opinion, the map construction itself is not the final uh, result, is not the result for defense. It is a kind of scientific research. But nevertheless, we understand that your map is based uh, on generalization and of uh, the respective research which you have conducted and uh, calculations. The second issue, in the introductory comment where you're talking about the geology of uh, the area, uh, there are some outdated uh, formulations. Well, for example, the term crotonization accretion. Well, in my opinion, both in Russian and in English, uh, the term does not sound adequate, where it would be better to, to indicate the accretion of the Earth's crust and subsequent crotonization, and then talk about the stabilization of the area. Or, for example, you talk about uh, Pan-African thermal Pan-African event, which is not only thermal Pan-African event that was Pan-African erogenesis with all the tectonic outcomes, uh, the closure of the ocean and uh, so on and so forth, so you could have been more specific. But nevertheless, this chapter is quite clear and gives us the clear understanding about the geology of the region. It seemed to me that the dissertation lacks uh, the chapter about uh, geological and geophysical uh, research of the study. So when drilling was conducted, who was conducting the seismical work, which m w method of the seismical work was used? It is common practice to use such chapters in the research of your kind. Uh, well, you have answered the question, uh, my question already about the uh, profiles. But I'm not asking it now because you gave me um, an answer already. And my final remark, very small one, I think that it would be logical to provide a generalized geological profile where you could use all the adopted geological formation so that the reader could better understand what uh, the topic concerns about. All these comments uh, are minor and um, they do not undermine the main value of the work and the practical application of the work is without any doubt and I hope that uh, this work will be pra used in practice. So I consider that uh, Tashan Ahmed Ramadan Mohamed deserves the awarding of the academic degree of candidate of geological mineralogical sciences uh, for the major 250010 geophysics geophysical methods uh, of mineralogy. So point 11 uh, of the procedure by the applicant is not violent, violated. Владимиру 
Excuse me, please. Uh, уважаемые... Dear Chairman, dear colleagues, dear members of the Dissertation Council, dear guests, but well, first of all, I would like to say and stress that first of all, that that the uh, presentation was really good with all the major ideas expressed and all the information expressed in the dissertation were well outlined uh, by the presenter. As for the dissertation itself, the dissertation is dedicated to the actual problem of the complex research of the basin of Suez Canal using geophysical methods and the newest computer technology based on which to create the 3D structural model and the petroleum system model in order to identify new deposits of hydrocarbons. In my opinion, this is a very important aspect because such comprehensive research of the region hasn't been conducted before. As for the main scientific results, uh, which are provided for defense, might be formulated in the following way. Based on uh, interpretation of uh, airborne and magnetic data, the map of uh, the cap rock was created on the base of which a 3D structural model of sedimentary basin was uh, created within the study area. Next, a 3D model, which is very important, not a structural map, but a 3D model of uh, petroleum system developing of the region based on the collection generalization of geological and geophysical data and interpretation of well data. That means that seismic data provide the full information necessary for the dissertation. And another aspect which I would also like to mention as that of high importance is that the result of 3D petroleum system modeling was conducted and the reliability of the model is confirmed by comparing the uh, hydrocarbon accumulation zone with the existing reservoirs and the prediction of Poor missing oil and gas accumulation zone was given, and this is of high importance. This is a very important aspect. The scientific novelty is fully provided in the provisions for defense. It is also worth noting that the author of the dissertation uh, for the first time created the models of development of uh, petroleum system for the region according to calibrating of the models and recommendation of further studies. The practical use of the work, which was mentioned by the previous member of the Dissertation Council, and I also support this uh, point of view, the practical importance of the work is in predicting new deposits of uh, hydrocarbons based on modeling um, petroleum reservoirs. And the outcome might be used, the results of the research might be used by the Ministry of Oil by of Egypt and also used by the companies which have the right uh, for exploration of oil and gas in the region. The applicant fully covered in the open publications the main aspects of scientific interest.
four scientists dealing with geophysics and four administrative staff talking about the perspectiveness of the region. The articles published in the leading uh, scientific magazines indexed by Web of Science and Scopus are the works that are recommended by uh, the Higher Attestation Committee, which recommend for the publication of dissertations. I would like to say that the approbation of the work is substantial. Uh, at six conferences, Mr. Tarshan provided the results. Those include Russian conferences and international conferences. And finally, I would like to say that the dissertation of Tashan Ahmed Ramadan Mohammed on the topic of identifying a promising oil and gas bearing object based on the petroleum system modeling the central eastern part of the Gulf of Suez complies with the main rules and regulations of the order of uh, St. Petersburg State University on the procedure of awarding uh, the degree of candidates. Tashan Muhammad uh, Rahmed deserves to be awarded the degree of candidate of geological and mineralogical sciences for major geophysical, geophysical methods of respecting for minerals. Point 11 of the procedure is not violated. So the dissertation, is, I fully support the dissertation as a very interesting input into the research of geological and geolo and uh, geophysical data that will help to use them in practice. Thank you for your attention. Now we move to the next review. The Ninska Nadezhda is absent. And we will ask German Leonidovich to read uh, her review. This uh, review is provided by the doctor of uh, uh, geological and mineralogical sciences and uh, the head of oil exploration. It is stated that the work is dedicated to the present issue of uh, determining the petroleum system. A uh, scientific no novelty is uh, covered in the provisions for defense. A 3D base model is created. The analysis of uh, the uh, 3D modeling of the development of a petroleum system is conducted based on interpretation of uh, airborne magnetic data. The map of the basement layer was conducted. It is also well worth noting that it is of high practical value. But the review uh, states uh, some uh, has some comments. When creating the structural model, the author used the results of uh, seismological works in the form of images or uh, in the form of correlation of horizons. But the work lacks the analysis of uh, uh, structural mapping. Within the framework of the work, the analysis of inaccuracies and uh, is conducted, and there is no risk estimation which might emerge when determining the resources of uh, oil and gas. But nevertheless, uh, the wor the uh, dissertation uh, deserves to be awarded uh, the degree of candidate of geological and mineralogical sciences for major 250010. Thank you very much. And for the next review, we are going 
to address Dr. Arifa Sultan. Will you please yes. proceed with your review? Yes. Good afternoon for all. Uh, in the first, I am going to thank uh, of the Central Petersburg State University for for selecting me as a reviewer and the minor for this dissertation. Also, I thank the supervisor, Dr. Chimineski, and the <coughs> and Tarakhat Arshan for preparing this nice uh, thesis. It's a pleasure to write and, uh, and to talk about the acceptance of the degree of the candidate of biological and biological science submitted by Tarashan Ahmed, uh, Ramadan Muhammad. And the first, this thesis is very good for the written content and presentation. However, uh, its representation is very clear and uh, good. However, it contains valuable data and the results for important part in Egypt where the Gulf of Suez represent the principal area for oil production in Egypt. This thesis consists of four chapters, include 60 figures and 13 tables of total 149 pages. The main objective of this study is to predict hydrocarbon accumulation zone in the study area using several geophysical data by constructor <clears throat> constructing a petroleum system model as well as comparing the broken and undiscovered hydrocarbon accumulation. This is, <clears throat> this is started with introduction part where the author Tarashan gives a brief description for the content of this thesis and objective of this thesis, which include four objectives such as, number one, acquisition, processing, and the interpretation of airborne magnetic data and the constructing a 3D, 3D depth model of basement layer of the study area. Creating, number two, creating a depth based on based structure model of the study area using seismic data and will logging data. Number three, constructing 3D petroleum system model of the study area. Number four, identification of oil and the gas bearing the object objectives on the study in the result of the petroleum system model. The author ended his thesis before reference with the part of the conclusion and the mere result of this thesis where he concluded that the depths of basement rocks ranging from 400 to 5,000 meters. The chapter of the thesis, chapter number one of title tectonic heating and geological history. This chapter, <coughs> I have uh, no comment uh, on this chapter where the data and the figure in this chapter are sufficient. However, it follows different information which is necessary to complete the picture for oil protein to produce and extract the oil from the Gulf of Seoul. Chapter number two of title, Airborne Magnetic Data Analysis, Construction of the Basement Layer of 3D Model. <coughs> Uh, also, this chapter, I have some, <laughs> this chapter is more excellent and it represents calculated model accumulation of oil and the gas, oil and the gas. All figures are good quality and good representation. Uh, this, the thesis, <coughs> okay. 
Sorry. Okay. Uh, chapter number two, airboard magnetic data analysis for structure of the basement layer and 3 dme uh, Where? By recommendation about this chapter, I suggest adding a figure for rule, uh, rule diagram, which which. Uh, uh, which uh, uh, represents the trend of the structure element in the study area. Also, the some reference, important reference, are necessary, are made from the dishes for magnetic stability, which used in magnetic modeling. Chapter number three, petroleum system model. Uh, this chapter is well and they represented with well picture and contain valuable information about uh, contour values in the figure. But uh, the contour values or figures number uh, 3, 10, 3, 11, 3, 12 are not readable and they need to readable, re redraw. Chapter number four, identification of the oil and the gas bearing object based on the results of 3D petroleum testing model. Uh, in this, this chapter also, <coughs> this chapter is more excellent and they represent calculate models accumulation of oil and the gas all figures are good quality and good presentation. Uh, the thesis in the total is good and to contain valuable information about different reservoirs in Gulf of Suez. The result of the thesis, this thesis can be indicated for the petroleum sector in Egypt to increase the productivity of extract oil and gas of an important part of Egypt. The distillation, distillation, <coughs> distillation research identification of promising oil and the gas bearing object based on the petroleum system modeling in the central eastern part of Egypt uh, by Tarashan Ahmed Ramadan Mohammed presented for the degree candidate of geological and mineralogical science of ten. Petersburg State University meets the requirement of complete distillation on the uh, <coughs> speciality 250010 geophysics, geophysical, geophysical, geophysical method of mineral prospecting. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. I believe you can take a seat for a time. Uh, <clears throat> uh, the next, please, Ibrahim Bassem Sayed Nabavi. Hello, uh, hello everybody. It's my pleasure to, to be uh, among your staff today. Thanks for, for uh, Dr. Tarshan for this uh, nice presentation. Thanks for the supervision staff. Thanks for uh, uh, St. Petersburg uh, staff. It's my pleasure uh, to say some comments and to read the report. Uh, in brief, uh, Ahmed Tarshan. Uh, introduced uh, a thesis entitled uh, Identification of Promising Oil and Gas Bearing Objects Based on the Petroleum System Modeling in the Central Eastern Barn of the Gulf of Suez in Egypt. Uh, in brief, the main purpose of modeling process in this thesis is to estimate the hydrocarbon potentiality in this area 
uh, in the central eastern uh, parts of the Gulf of Suez. Uh, this is uh, consists of an introductory part in addition to four technical chapters and a conclusion. In general, in the introduction, he indicated the relevance of uh, his research topic to the exploration efforts in the Gulf of Suez and the workflow of the applied methodology. In the first chapter, he showed the main structural regime in the Gulf of Suez in addition to the main uh, sedimentary basins and the stratigraphic sequences, and classified the, uh, the Gulf of Seal sequence into pre-rift, thin rift, and post-rift uh, sequences, which is common in the Gulf. In chapter two, uh, he introduced uh, the outline of acquisition and the calibration of the airborne magnetic data, in addition to its processing steps. In this chapter, he concluded uh, that depth to the basement surface in this area ranges from 500 meters to more than 4,600 meters. In chapter 3, he described the process of creating a 3D depth-based uh, destructional model and indicated that five locations are considered sedimentary basins with thick sedimentary Covers. It's something between 3,000 and 4,500 uh, meters. And then in chapter 4, uh, he presented the results of Petro mode software and indicated that the oil and the gas accumulations are accumulated in seven reservoir zones, including four reservoirs in Nubia A and B, uh, in addition to Nuhul, Rodez, and the Balaim formation. My recommendation, just for further uh, publications and international uh, publications, it's recommended to pay more attention to the integration between the detailed seismic profiles of you with the will-look interpretation and how to process it to get more precise formation evaluation for the studied hydrocarbon bearing zones. Also, I think he should pay some attention to, to explain how, you, how he can differentiate between the gas bearing and oil bearing zones using his technique. Also, I recommend him to support uh, his conclusion by some additional wells. Uh, because sometimes we recommend uh, to explore in an area which is already covered by the company, and the company stated that the, the, the drilled wells are already dry. So, uh, I think for this study, he should uh, select more and the more wells, uh, well distributed along the, the area of a study to cover the different uh, zones. Also for the, the terminology, uh, I recommend him to avoid uh, some terminology like objects in the, in the title, where the term objects is usually used for, for mineral exploration, not for hydrocarbon uh, exploration. For hydrocarbon exploration, we use horizon uh, we may use zones, uh, hydraulic units, but not objects. Uh, also, the, ter the term forecast. Forecast, it's used for uh, climatology, not for geophysics or not for geology. We, us we usually use the term prediction, uh, detection, something like that. In general, uh, the aforementioned uh, recommendation, just a recommendation for further uh, publication for both doctor studies, so, in general, uh, thank you, Dr. Ahmed. Thank you for uh, the supervision and stuff. I recommend the awarding the PhD uh, degree, degree in Geological and Neurological Sciences to uh, Mr. Ahmed Ramadan Mohammed Tarshan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Разрешите. <clears throat> Let me read my uh, review. I will give only the main details. Uh, and I suppose that many positive and some negative aspects have already uh, been mentioned by my colleagues. First of all, I would like to stress that the topic and the area is very promising. The area chosen by the applicant for the research. Uh, this is a unique 
uh, region, a small province of the uh, Suez uh, Gulf, but it has a very uh, good density of the mineral resources. It has many discovered uh, reservoirs. Secondly, this is a difficult area in geophysical um, terms because well-developed magmatic uh, rocks, the powers and the layers in the sedimentary cap, in most cases, make the interpretation of the seismic data rather difficult. That means that the work itself is uh, methodologically grounded and is topic. The complex interpretation in the region uh, has a special importance. Based on comprehensive interpretation of geophysical data, of airborne magnetic data, the uh, model of uh, sedimentary rock was constructed, which put the basis, which became the basis of uh, prognosis of the uh, applicant. And the petroleum model, which also served uh, the achievement of the final goal of the dissertation. It means that both the work itself and the methodology of the work and the practical value of the uh, work are of highest quality. Definitely, a number of comments might be made. What I would like to point out, the usage of uh, seismical data, of digital data, on the, the depth of the basement could be done more objectively based on the correlation with airborne magnetic data. Interpolation, uh, interpolated uh, modeling made on several horizons in inter-drill uh, space could be done more objectively with the full usage of geological information, with the use of a lithological calculation on uh, certain horizons. And the final estimation of the resources based on the scenario or of the model of one of the hydrocarbon systems would seem more objective in terms of uh, prognosis value. Nevertheless, it is worth noting that the dissertation of Tashan on the theme identification of promising oil and gas bearing object based on the petroleum system modeling the central eastern part of the Gulf of Suez, it corresponds to the main requirements uh, specified by the order of uh, St. Petersburg State University dated uh, 16th of September on the regulation of awarding academic degrees in St. Petersburg State University and the degree seeker, Tashan Ahmed Ramadan Mohammed, uh, deserves to be awarded the degree of candidate of geological and mineralogical uh, sciences 
in manger 250010. Point 11 of the regulation is not violated. Thank you. You are given the floor to respond to the comments. Members of the Certification Council, um, I'd like to thank you for uh, your kind words about my thesis and for the questions and the valuable comments. Uh, and let me start with uh, the review of uh, Professor Zlich and Kavgar Malianidvich. Thank you so much for these uh, valuable comments and the questions. Uh, the first comment about the formulation of the first provision for defense. Of course, I totally agree with your opinion. The first provision uh, concern is the analysis of the airport magnetic data. And the, finally, uh, the 3D basement map was generated. But uh, as you know, that the main target is to create the 3D basement layer of the study area. And to, uh, to achieve this target, we have to make the processing and the analysis of the airport magnetic data. Uh, but uh, I agree with your opinion. We should have formulated uh, this provision to include the whole work that we applied in, uh, in this chapter. Of course, we will take it into consideration. The second comment about uh, using uh, some inaccurate and outdated concepts in chapter one. There may be some um, outdated concepts uh, due to the translation in the first sub chapter, but let me please answer the two examples that you have mentioned in the, in the report. Uh, in this paragraph, we just wanted to shed light, shed light on the formation of the development of Arabian Nubian Shield. Uh, in which the study area is located. About the first expression, the cratonization accretion. Um, I agree with your opinion. We should have been more accurate to indicate the accretion uh, of the ear's crust and subsequent cratonization. Uh, we wanted by this term to illustrate that uh, uh, the period between 900 and 550 million years uh, ago was spent in uh, the cratonization of the area occupied now uh, by the Arabian Nubian Shield. Uh, which involved three stages. The first st stage is the separation of Mozambique Craton and the formation of uh, an ocean in the eastern Africa. The second stage is the formation of island arc, subduction, accretion, erosion, sedimentation, uh, magmatism, and the metamorphism. And the third, the third stage is the formation of the Arabian Nubian Shield by lateral accretion uh, and the accretion of the interoceanic arc arcs during the closure of the Mozambique Ocean and the uh, amalgamation of Gondwan. Uh, the second expression about the Pan-African tectonogenesis, which can be hardly uh, called the thermal Pan-African event. Of course, this is uh, orogeny with uh, a complex geological process. Uh, I agree with your opinion uh, that the Pan-African orogeny include, uh, of course, the East African origin. It was a series of a major uh, new Proterozoic orogenic event which related to the formation of supercontinent Gondwana and Banotea, uh, brought together uh, all the continental cratons as West African, uh, Congo, Kalahari, Tanzania, and the forming Gondwana and subsequently the supercontinent Bangia uh, by the late Paleozoic. The third comment about the lack of a special section uh, for the geological and geophysical study of the research area. Uh, we have mentioned in the, first, in the first chapter information about the geological and uh, geologic and the history and the structure and the stratigraphy of the study area from previous work. And the geophysical information has been mentioned in different parts of the dissertation. And we have used the data from the previous study while building our petroleum system model. But uh, it would have been better to add a private uh, section for the previous geophys geophysical and geological study in the study area. Uh, uh, comment number four, I think, about uh, not using seismic sections to control basement layer. I think I have mentioned uh, to this question while answering the presentation. And uh, the final comment about uh, adding a generalized geolo geological section to show uh, the old geological formations. Uh, we have only created three 2D, uh, 2D cross sections from the 3D uh, petroleum system model, showing in these cross sections the lithology temperature uh, transformation ratios and the maturity, but adding a generalized geologic cross section would have been preferable. So, of course, we will take it into consideration uh, in the future studies. Uh, now, I'd like to uh, move to the uh, report of Professor Tarayan Vladimir Nikolaevich. Uh, I'd like to thank you so much for the kind words about my dissertation. There is no question. Thank you so much. Uh, now I'd like to proceed the questions of uh, Professor Taninis Kanadiyajda Vladimirovna. She is absent today. 
she has two comments. The first to comment about not using seismic sections in CQI format. Uh, despite the preliminary agreement with uh, the oil companies, uh, unfortunately, 2D seismic sections in CQI format were not provided for detailing the structure model, uh, which didn't allow supplementing the horizon model uh, with a model with faults. Uh, and the building is a model based on using the seismic sections as images. And these seismic sections were digitized accurately using a B-trail software. The second comment about the absence of uncertainty analysis and the risk assessment uh, in our study. Of course, this is beyond us. This is due to the decision of uh, Schlumberger's company uh, to discontinue the provision of academic license of Betra Mood in 2019, uh, which resulting in failure to uh, complete the ongoing uncertainty analysis and the risk assessment associated with the main parameters used in the simulation. And we hope to continue this step in the future. Nevertheless, the model accumulation zones were calibrated with the open and the oil and the gas fields that exist in the study area and a great compatibility between the model accumulation zones and the zones that already discovered in reality was found. Uh, now I want to uh, proceed the uh, questions of uh, Professor Sultan Awad. Thank you so much for your valuable comments. Uh, about the first uh, comment and recommendation about adding high and low pass filters and the figure of Rose diagram, uh, of course, I agree with you. Uh, we have applied the power spectrum uh, technique to separate the uh, RTP map into regional and residual maps. But it would have been better to add the high pass and low pass filters uh, and showing the Rose diagram to make trend analysis of lineaments deduced from the residual and regional magnetic maps and to show the trend of the majority of magnetic lineaments. Also, I agree with you uh, about adding references for magnetic susceptibility used in the magnetic modeling. Of course, we will take it into consideration. The second comment about the contour map values in figure uh, uh, number 3.10, 3.11, 3.12, well, which are not uh, readable and need to be redrawn, uh, it, of course, it would have been better to show each uh, figure uh, separately uh, to be more clear and readable. Uh, and we have tried to enlarge the contour values as much as possible, but uh, of course, we will redraw them separately to make them easier to read. Uh, now, I'd like to proceed the questions of uh, Professor uh, Pesem Nabawi. Thank you so much for the kind words and valuable comments about my dissertation. Uh, and about your recommendation uh, for further future studies and international publications, of course, we will pay more attention to the integration with detailed seismic profiles or CUBE, in addition to better well log interpretation and the processing to get more precise formations evaluation for the studied hydrocarbon bearing horizons for future uh, studies. Uh, and we will take uh, into our consideration the using of the two terms uh, objects and the task of course. Uh, and finally, uh, I'd like to proceed to the questions of the, our chairman, uh, Professor uh, Piskariev Vasilev Alexey Lazarovich. Thank you so much for these valuable comments. Uh, the first comment about using the seismic section as image, I think I have already answered this question while answering the uh, uh, questions of Professor Taninsk and Yezda Vladimirov. The second comment about building the model using uh, the element of paleofacial reconstruction. The lithological model is built on the basis of data interpolation in interwell space. But, uh, of course, for more accurate constructions, it's more expedient to perform using the element of paleofacial reconstructions. And we hope to get the enough geological data about the paleofacial constructions and involve them in our model in our future studies. The third comment about carrying out the resource uh, assessment after the implementation of one scenario of hydrocarbon system model. Of course, I agree with your opinion. The end result of uh, resource estimation should be an analysis of probabilities of uh, resource estimates for various scenarios and, uh, and the model implementations. But this is uh, due to the discontinuation of the academic license for Petra Mood in 2019. Uh, we couldn't do that, as I have mentioned before. Uh, that's all I have uh, answered all questions. I hope I answered all questions. Thank you so much. Thank you. <clears throat> Dear colleagues, are you satisfied by answers? 
I'm satisfied too. Thank you for your answers. It's Thank you so me. much. I have no additional uh, questions uh, and comments. Thank you so Thank much. You. Yeah. Uh, any additional questions? Вопросы? Какие-нибудь вопросы поступили дополнительно? Are there any additional questions? No, thank you. Then we give the floor uh, to the scientific supervisor. Good day, dear ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I think there is no need to read my review. I just would like to uh, say briefly some issues we came across with Mr. Tarshan during preparation uh, while working on his uh, PhD thesis. Um, so uh, generally uh, this uh, PhD thesis consists of two parts and part one is based uh, on the data Mr. Tarshan collected uh, during his previous work in Egypt and um, this uh, data he used for uh, processing and further interpretation and uh, results of this interpretation um, became uh, basement for future, uh, for further uh, petroleum system modeling. So, uh, and, and part two, uh, it's about uh, petroleum system modeling and um, hydrocarbon uh, resources evaluation based on uh, this petroleum system model. So here I need uh, to say that uh, let's get back three years ago uh, when we just started working o o on this thesis. Uh, we uh, expected to get uh, some data uh, from oil companies and governmental structures and we made uh, a lot of requests to these companies and governmental structures to get the data, uh, but uh, unfortunately uh, we got no answer. So we had to um, to construct uh, and to fulfill our idea. Uh, we had to rely on the data um, collected by Mr. Tarshan uh, during his previous work and uh, to the data we could find uh, in. Um, published uh, articles and so on. Uh, so, and, and, and hence uh, come all the, uh, um, all the issues that many of reviewers uh, have told us. Uh, and uh, uh, one of them in general, one that uh, we did not use uh, seismic in Segway, we used um, pictures instead, but uh, there is a reason for that. And um, a sec second point uh, is uh, that we were not able to make uh, risk analysis and um, evaluation of uncertainties. That, that's because um, Schlumberger company terminated um, academic licenses to all of the universities in Russia, yeah, that's said, but uh, uh, risk analysis and uncertainty evaluation might be uh, a plot of uh, Mr. Tarshan further investigations and I'm sure. So, um, in any way, the results uh, that Mr. Tarshan has got uh, are uh, of great scientific novelty and uh, they definitely might be used uh, by oil companies and uh, governmental structures for, um, for licensing and for further more detailed um, seismic surveys and so on. Um, I'm sure that uh, Mr. Tarshan deserves getting a PhD degree. It was a pleasure to work with Mr. Tarshan, and I wish him a good luck in his further professional career. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Пожалуйста, поскольку 
since we have our meeting in such a uh, format with some people present in remote mode maybe some of the participants of the meeting uh, have certain questions concerning the dissertations out of your research. It's not necessarily to use it for in your uh, PhD thesis. Yes, of course, it's necessary. But uh, as I have mentioned, this is because uh, Ashlam Bajir's company decision uh, to discontinue the provision of the academic license of Petra Mode. We were planning to do this to do this step, but uh, actually this is beyond of us, because uh, in 2019, Schlumberger uh, company uh, discontinues the provision of the academic license of Petramont software. Uh, so we hope if we get the license again, we hope to do this step. Uh, nevertheless, w the model, the accumulations uh, were calibrated according to the open um, oil and the gas fields in the study area, and a great compatibility uh, have been found between them. Mm -hmm. That's all. Thank you. Uh, other questions, please? No. Thank you. Uh, no, we need to decide if there is a necessity to call for a break to discuss the results uh, to discuss the results between the members of the decision council and then we will have the broadcast muted. What are your opinions on the issue? Is it a necessary procedure? No, it is up to us to decide. I suppose I suppose that it's not expedient to do this. Well, I do agree. Since there are no issues for discussion, there were no negative comments during the discussion, we can proceed to the main issue. to the voting procedure and we need to check if everybody is present and if everybody uh, can hear as well is it an open roll vote it is an open roll call vote it means that each member of the dissertation council has to express the final decision now whether the applicant deserves uh, the respective respecting degree since we are all present and there are no additional questions I raise the issue on awarding Tashan Ahmed Ramadan Muhammad the scientific degree of the candidate of geological and mineralogical sciences, major geophysics, geophysical methods of prospecting for minerals. Call for the open roll call vote. I should remind you that the decision on awarding the degree is considered positive if more than half and not least than three members of the dissertation council have voted yes in accordance with the clause 23 of the uh, procedure so 
uh, Leichenkov, German Leonidovich, you are the first to say. I have already stated my opinion. I think that uh, this dissertation deserves to be accepted. Well, let me find the right words. Tashan Ahmed Ramadan Muhammad deserves to be awarded the degree candidate of geological and mineralogical sciences. I can wish you success in the future and congratulate you and your scientific supervisor that within three years, which is a rather short period of time, uh, were able to successfully uh, perform this work and uh, to defend it successfully and well. So my decision is positive. I'm voting yes. Thank you. Thank you. Troyan Vladimir Nikolaevich. Your idea? Your opinion on the issue? I have already expressed my positive comment in my review and uh, during the discussion as well, and I consider that uh, Mr. Tarshan uh, has performed the defense really well, and I would like to congratulate him on awarding the degree candidate of geological and mineralogical sciences, and to wish him luck and success in using the main thesis ideas in life, in real life and in uh, a professional work. Congratulations. Dr. Arifa Sultan, I would Sultan, your opinion. Yes. yes, I agree for awarding a PhD degree for uh, Mustar Tarshan. <coughs> Ahmed Ramadan Mohammed. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, uh, Dr. Ibrahim Bassett. Congratulations, Dr. Ahmed Tarshan. It's Thank a very you. nice presentation. Uh, I totally support you and I recommend awarding your PhD. Congratulations and all the best. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, yeah, um... And my final opinion, uh, I have expressed it already. I consider that this work is a successful work in very difficult from a uh, geophysical uh, point of view region, but which has a uh, high potential and the uh, degree seeker uh, used an ordinary approach to the solution of uh, prognostic problems. And I hope that his further career will be successful in this uh, field as well. And next time uh, we will be addressing you as a doctor. I'm for. Thank you. Thus, esteemed colleagues and guests, I would like to announce out of five present in the voting procedure of the Distation Committee of the members of the Council, four voted five people, against none, abstained none. The decision on awarding Tashan Ahmed Ramadan Muhammad the degree candidate of geological and mineralogical sciences in major 250010 geophysics, geophysical methods of prospecting for minerals is adopted. Thank you.
Congrat- my congratulations for Dr. Ahmed. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Dr. Ahmed. Thank you so much. Uh, my uh, last uh, questions about some additional problems. No. Your last. Uh, dear members of the Certification Council, uh, let me thank you for this opportunity to present my research work uh, and for the valuable scientific discussion. Uh, all the questions and the comments I will certainly take into uh, account uh, and include them in my future research. Uh, I'd also like to thank the Department uh, of Geophysics at St. Petersburg State University uh, for giving me the opportunity to defend my thesis. Uh, I am also very grateful to my scientific supervisor, Shemansky Sergei. Thank you so much uh, for guiding and supporting me throughout these years. Uh, I'd like also to thank uh, Professor Sultan and the Basim for, participa- for participating in our dissertation council. Thank you so much. And many thanks for uh, Professor uh, Lichenkov German Lenovich and uh, Professor Tarayan Vladimir Nikolaevich and the Professor uh, Biskariev Vasiliev Alexei Lazarevich. Thank you so much and um, many thanks for uh, my wife, my family, my mother and my kids uh, for his support and patience. And let me say a few words in Russian. Thank you very much, dear members of the Dissertation Council. This is a great honor for me to have this degree of candidate. I would like to thank my scientific supervisor and the members of the Department of Geophysics for their support and their help throughout my years in postgraduate studies. Thank for the guests who have come here today. It means really a lot for me. And thank you very much for the members of the Department of the Dissertation Council for helping with assembling the package of documents for the dissertation. And thank you for conducting this meeting today. Thank you. In accordance with the rules of the procedure, I have to address to you, dear colleagues. Since our meeting is held with some participants in remote access mode, I have to ask, do the members of the dissertation council, the applicant or other people present, questions, remarks on the procedure of the meeting? And I would like uh, everyone to give personalized answer. German Leonidovich, answers, questions, negative points, Vladimir Nikolaevich. Do you have any comments? No, everything was great, thank you. Alexei Lazarevich, you are a great chairman. Dr. Arifa Sultan. Okay, no comment. Uh, only uh, my congratulations for uh, Dr. Ahmad Rashad and uh, thank you for all stuff in the university. Thank you. Thank you very much. And Dr. Ibrahim Basin Sayed Nabavi, your additional questions maybe? No, thank you. Uh, it's okay. Uh, thanks and congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Uh, Thus, we would like to congratulate the applicant once again on the on being awarded the candidate degree. And thus, I declare uh, the meeting is closed. Thank you all for participation. Unfortunately, we can't shake hands. <laughs>